I, Carly, give you, James, this ring as a symbol of my love, indeed and in truth, and I will practice this love according to the word of God in our marriage, and with it I thee wed. I've imagined this moment about a million times, and I know it's been said that a change never lived in real life. From the first time that I saw your face, covered in linen and light. dream and don't wake me up from this beautiful wonderful thing they call love if this is a dream then don't wake me up from this beautiful wonderful thing thing they call ring is a very precious thing. It's a token of your faithfulness and your love. This ring is made of precious metal. It has a never-ending circle like the continuous love of God. There are three kinds of love in the Greek language. We're just use one word when we describe all three. We just say, I love my tractor, I love my car, I love my house, and we love our dog. We just say things like that. But the Greeks had three different words they used to show the working, and these three should be working in your marriage, these three kinds of love. Number three is storgy, a family love. You have a warm feeling inside when you think about them. You feel their hurt, you feel their victory, and you will protect them in all situations. Number two is phileo. It's a friendship love. You enjoy doing things together. You should have at least three things you enjoy doing together. Some of the best marriages come out of a friendship. Why is this? If you're doing things together that you enjoy doing together, you talk to each other, you fellowship, and you learn each other and about each other, and you encourage each other in a fellowship. But these two have conditions. Storgy has a condition. You don't have the storgy love for everybody. Flail has a condition. You don't have the flail love for everybody because everybody's not your friend. But these two have conditions. But the number one, agape, is the God kind of love, and it has no condition. Agape is a divine love, the God kind of love. We find this love all through the New Testament. First John 3, 18, the Bible says, Let us not love agape in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. So this is agape love, doesn't just talk, it does something. It doesn't say, I just love you, I love you, but it proves this love. It proves this love in several ways. It proves this love by doing things that normally you wouldn't do. This is a dream that don't wake me up From this beautiful, wonderful thing they call love This is a dream that don't wake me up From this beautiful See?
Our Father God was an example of this love in John 3, 16 and 17. He said, I love the world so much, I gave my only begotten Son, that whosoever would believe in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And I thank God He gave that 17th verse where He said, And He came not into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. And he loved us so much, that he gave his son, and his son loved us so much that he obeyed the Father three times. He cried out, Lord, if there's any other way, take this from me, do it. But it wasn't. And he said, not my will, but your will be done. And that's the reason we can stand here today and rejoice over our brothers in heaven. Lift up everyone around. I can't believe what I found. But no one will you take my hand. Just smile and say, catch me if you can. I want to take the longest trail with you. The one that starts right when we say I do. From Mary Hall to Brianna Dry to Grand Marais and up the mountainside. We'll keep chasing this I love so true. Behold your bride. Now I can't wait for the children we will rise. I hope that they have your heart and you smile. James and Carly. The ABCs of a successful marriage. A, love one another with storgy, pleo, agape. B, accept one another. Accept her abilities, she knows better than you. Accept his abilities, and he knows better than you. And work together at it. Accept each other and appreciate each other's abilities and talents that are given by God. Number C is forgive one another. At our 50th anniversary of Sarah and me, 10 years ago, somebody walked up to her and asked her, how in the world did you live with him for 50 years? And she said, forgiveness. Forgiveness is a very important part. Two people are better than one, for they can help each other succeed. If one person falls, the other can reach out and help. But someone who falls alone is in real trouble. Likewise, two people lying close together can keep each other warm. But, one, but how can one be warm alone? Person, a person standing alone can be attacked and defeated. But two can stand back to back and conquer. Plus God equals three or even better. For a triple braided cord is not easily broken. Those who allow God to be a part of their marriage can withstand whatever comes at them. Several times you told me, 
I want to see James get married. I told James they need to get married. And I can hear him in heaven right now saying, in heaven Papa saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. One thing that we can all agree on is it has been a, a pleasure to watch them grow, uh, not only as individuals, uh, but as a couple and their love for them uh, to grow each and every day. Fighting through the wars we lost Looking for the day when we have one 